Hi guys, how are you doing today? Hmm? Coming to you from my hotel room in Calgary, Alberta. Yep, I am rocking another class. How does it get any better than this? So, you know what I wanted to talk about today was, do you know that anything can be changed? I know you're saying, say what, Lori? <laughs> anything? I don't think so. Well, actually, I've come here to share with you that it's actually true. Now, I'm not saying that instantly maybe your body could change where you could, and it could for some people, where you like lose 100 pounds or all of a sudden you go from, you know, walking to like running a five mile marathon or 10 K marathon or whatever, you know, without a little bit of, uh, you know, warm up or something, or, you know, what comes to my mind too, is even those, you know, when we look and we say, Oh, well, they, as they get older, they just get worse. They get crankier. They can't change. And all of that may be true, but I got to tell you guys, there is something else possible for every freaking thing in your life. And even if it's how you just change the way you look at something. And I got to tell you, there are things that I've, well, I've been taking these different classes, you know, through Access Consciousness. Was, oh my God, I just adore the tools. Like it's the tools. It's the tools that you take home and you use in your life. It's not about the classes because you can go to all the fucking classes and never change anything. And, but it's using these tools in your life and getting an awareness of the lightness that it creates and then being like, damn, I want more of that. So anyways, that is seriously what I want to mention to you guys that it's possible. So Say you've decided you'd like to lose 100 pounds or like even in my case with my body where it's not easy yet, you know, for me to walk a long way or even a short way depending on the day. Um, but what you can change is how you look at it and you can find ease in the present moment. Um, loving your body as it is loving yourself as it is, loving your life as it is. And I know that, you know, people, they talk about this, you know, having gratitude, you know, blah, blah, blah kind of thing. Um, but there's a level of gratitude that gets created as, you know, especially for myself, as I choose more of this, like choose to use the tools, choose to create more ease in my life, that, it ends up just creating some more space with things. So like same with my body, um, you know, so I can sit there and look at, well, um, gee, I'd like to go to the mall and go shopping. Oh, not really kind of up to it. Well, damn, that's no fun, blah, blah, blah. Or, uh, you know, maybe it'd be fun to go use the weight room downstairs. And it's like, oh yeah, right. I can't do that right now. Or I can be like, how much more fun can I have my life? What can I add to my life to create more ease here or more play or more fun? And, you know, oh gosh, this is like running a whole bunch of different subjects together. So, um, you know, and say you're someone who is, you know, a hundred pounds overweight, five pounds or, you know, more than you'd like to be not even overweight, but you know, more than you'd like to, what if your body in any form is the way that you think it should be different? Okay. Plain and simple. What if you could be okay with it where it's at right now? And what I discovered is sometimes you can't just make that happen. Like you can't just be, okay, I'm going to make that happen. Sometimes it is simply just a choice to do that. And then there's other times where you need to find out all those points of view that stop you from allowing you to have ease with wherever you're at right now. Like what if you've bought, like, like, there were many times that I bought that my body being the way it is, is wrong. And what if it's not wrong? What if it's information? So if I'm judging the information is wrong, how much am I going to gather from that information? And then like, what if your body is, you know, 
larger than you'd like it to? What if it's just telling you that that's actually the size it really desires to be? And with points of view and the way this reality is about people that are, you know, quote unquote, a little heavier than whatever the, what's that scale that's like, you know, your BMI index or something like that. Like, what if it's not a one size fits all? And what I've noticed is that clearing and finding out the different points of view that my body's wrong the way it is. Well, what if it isn't? That there's something wrong with my body. What if there actually isn't? You know, and, uh, and one of the gifts of my, my new grandbaby, um, just a, he's just a beautiful little teeny little thing. Um, he just lays there. You know, he just lays there. And we're in awe of his beauty, you know, or handsomeness because he's a boy and just, um, the presence of him, you just enjoy it. Could you imagine if you brought that energy into how you were with your body? And if you, you know, and then, you know, and if that kind of thing goes like, well, that seems really far fetched and weird. Cause I kind of thought the same thing when I got that awareness myself, like, what if I could just allow myself to receive from the universe and that my body is actually saying, hey, lady, <laughs> you know, um, we really want you to learn to receive more. And with your body being the way it is, like, allow that to be, you know, allow it to happen, allow it to be created, allow people, you know, someone brought me lunch yesterday and it was beautiful. It was beautiful for me. And the excitement in their world was really exciting. So Oh, where's the wrongness people? <laughs> so, so, so many things in our lives can be changed. And, oh gosh, I just feel like I could talk about this forever. Cause like the other thought that's popping into my mind is, you know, we'll look at people as they get older and we're like, oh, well, cranky people, they just get older. They get worse as they get older. You know what? That is just BS. It doesn't have to be that way. You don't have to get worse as you get older. That's a point of view. <laughs> and your point of view creates your reality. So what if, you know, you look at that and what if you can allow someone who is older, someone who is cranky, what if you could just allow them to be the way they were and have it not affect you? What if you could just be the space of allowance of that? And sometimes those kind of things aren't, don't happen overnight. You know, and sometimes you got to use tools and sometimes you use them more than once, but change is possible. I am just here to tell you that it's possible. Okay, guys, like really for what I've created in my body in ways that's not been very comfortable, like honestly, it's like the happiest I have ever been. So how could it be wrong? You know, and I don't even judge myself for it not anymore. <laughs> I did before, but I don't now. So what if you could, you know, if I could just be an invitation to you that maybe this video is not the answer, but it's an actual invitation for you to be able to look at your life. So whether it's something within your body that you wish was different, that you're too small or you're too big or your boobs are too big or your hips are too small or, you know, someone in your life is not the way you wish they would be. And, uh, you could just be like, wow, there's something else possible here. There's, there's something else. It's not like this way or this way, but there's like a dozen or maybe hundreds of different choices and possibilities that are there. So, you know, like I've said before, you guys like, just don't give up. Don't give in, never quit. And, uh, just, you know, ask the universe, what is this for me? What would it take to change this? How could I have more ease in this area or more allowance in this area? And then see what shows up. Because when you ask, the universe always responds. So thanks for today. You guys take care. Have an amazing one. Bye-bye.